This is problem one of the 2023 Amy one and the problem reads five men and nine women stand equally spaced around a circle in random order. The probability that every man stands diametrically opposite a woman is n over m over n, where m and n are relatively prime positive integers. Find m plus n. Okay, so why don't I just go ahead and draw my table really quick. It's going to have a bunch of slots. I'm going to count 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And in particular, um, some of every um every seed is diametrically opposite one other seed. So why don't I color um pairs in different colors? So these two get red, then the next two are gonna get orange. Um, the next two I'll give yellow, the next two I'll give green. Um, the next two I'll give this nice shade of blue. Then I'm going to use purple and finally pink. Okay. So these are your seven pairs of diametrically opposite seats. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little constructive counting. Namely, I'm going to construct a seating chart that works and say, okay, the probability that the seating, I get a seating chart like this is such and such. So to begin, I have met five men and nine women. And um, what I want to do is I want to place them so that every man stands diametrically opposite a woman. So why don't I start by placing one of the guys? It doesn't matter which guy I place. It doesn't matter where I place them. I'll place um, him somewhere. Um, now, since I could do place this guy anywhere, it's not going to really change the outcome. But I want the probability that every man stands diametrically opposite a woman, meaning that whoever I place in this yellow seat must be a woman. Now, if I were to randomly choose a guy or a girl from the remaining 13 people, what's the probability that this is a woman? Well, there are nine women and 13 other people, so that probability is nine over 13. Um, now, if a man ends up on that yellow spot, um, we've basically already failed, so we can just go ahead and consider the 9 13th probability that this does happen. Now, what do we have? We have four men and eight women. Now, let's go ahead and place one of our other guys, like somewhere like right here. Um, we've placed our, another guy. Now, um, the next person we're going to see it will go in this this little purple slot. And um, this this person also has to be a woman for us to succeed. Now, what's the probability that this is a woman? Well, it's 8 over 11 because there are 8 women left and 11 people. So the probability that a randomly chosen person um, to sit in this purple seat as a woman is 8 over 11. I'm going to multiply these two because these are independent events. Okay, now let's place our third guy somewhere, I don't know, right here. Um, it, once again, it doesn't really matter. All placements of this third man are identical. Uh, what's the probability that um, somebody else ends up in this slot that is a woman? And I better change this to a seven. What's the probability that a woman sits in this spot um, now that I have two men and seven women left? Well, it's seven over nine because there's seven women and nine people left, okay? So once I've sat down my next woman, I will put a guy down in another seat like this one. Um, now it's the probability that this red is a woman because it has to be. Well, it's six over seven because there's six women and seven people left to seat. Finally, um, I, I, I just placed my last guy somewhere. Doesn't matter once again. Now, what's the probability that this person's a woman across from him? Well, it's one just because, like, there are only women left to see it. And so, this is our final probability that every man stands diametrically opposite a woman because we can just place the other four women anywhere and it won't matter. And this product turns out to be what well, can cancel out a seven, I can cancel out a nine. And you end up with 48 over 243.
143, excuse me. Um, and so M is 48 and N is 143 because they're relatively prime and M plus N is equal to 191. And we are done. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.